Hi, today I just wanted to do a quick update on uh, Plex, uh, specifically for um, NAS, usually our Intel-based NAS uh, that have an onboard GPU and you want to use a, a PCIe GPU instead of an external GPU added in. Um, so previously you had to do quite a bit of editing in the, the Plex preferences.xml file to um, tell it that you have an external GPU because it would default to just using the first one it found uh, which is always going to be the onboard one um, the embedded one in the in the processor uh, so in most cases you're using um, Intel UHD graphics or something like that um, so one interesting thing is here this is my uh, TVSH uh, 1288X I do have it running QUTS Hero at the moment um, and in here I do have um, a, the NVIDIA graphics card uh, so down here now one thing you still have to do, you still have to install the NVIDIA drivers on the NAS and then change um, the usage, the resource use here, to QTS mode. If it's not in QTS mode, Plex will still not see it, um, but there'll be no need to do any command line or anything like that or, or read that PDF file we were sending out before. Um, if you come have a look at the, uh, the media server announcements from Plex, um, you can see here quite a few changes. The one we're interested in is the bottom one here in the new section, so transcoder. Uh, the GPU used for transcoding can now be selected in server preferences. Um, brilliant. We don't have to go through and edit um, uh, custom files with VI or anything like that anymore. We can just simply come into the user interface. So this is that running on that NAS. So you come down to the transcoder menu on the left-hand side. And when you're here, you can see the hardware transcoding device set to auto by default. Um, but you can do a drop down and you'll see the two options. So the bottom one there, the Comet Lake uh, SGT2, may look different on yours. This is just for the H1288X, so some, something like our. Uh, TS-464, for example, would show a different model, but it would be the Intel one there, the UHD graphics. But we've also got the uh, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti that I've got in here as well. Um, so you can simply just select which one of those you want uh, directly within the Plex interface. No need to go enabling SSH or anything like that to make it work. You can just do it directly from there, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, no need to go through a bunch of editing files anymore. So that's really great from Plex. And again, just for anybody that doesn't know, um, this is only for hardware transcoding, and you can only use hardware transcoding if you have um, your Plex account enabled with a Plex Pass. So make sure you've got the Plex Pass. Um, if you want to do hardware transcoding, you won't be able to see uh, or, or change any of these options if you don't have a Plex Pass. Um, hardware transcoding is part of that, uh, not the free package. You do need to have the Plex Pass. Um, so again, yeah, that's um, thank you very much, Plex. Uh, no need to do any editing uh, to get Plex to use uh, a different GPU. You can just simply select it straight from the drop, drop down box now. Um, so yeah, um, any questions, please do let us know in the comments section down below or go ask over on the Plex forums about it. They're the guys that made this change, so they know more about it than I do, but very happy to see it. Um, and it works great as well when I've been testing it. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.